Hi, I'm Rabbi Lisa Greshko. This week's parsha is Ekev. The word Ekev is actually really hard to translate into English, but the meaning of the parsha is clear. In Ekev, Moses is telling the Israelites about all of their travels, leaving Egypt and going through the wilderness and making their way to the Promised Land. If we look closely, we'll see a lesson, a lesson about mistakes and how sometimes they can lead to something good. Moses reminds the people about how he went up Mount Sinai to get the Ten Commandments from God, and how while he was up there, the people built a golden calf and started praying and partying around it, acting as if it were a god. When Moses came back down, he was so angry that he smashed the tablets with God's commandments. He punished the people, but then he told God to give them a second chance. So he had to go back up the mountain and get new tablets. What's interesting is when he came back down, both sets of tablets, the old smashed ones and the new whole ones, both sets were kept in the ark. Why keep those old tablets? Wouldn't they just be a reminder of a terrible mistake? Maybe God is teaching us that our mistakes are important, that even our mistakes can be holy. Let me tell you a story. Once there was a king who loved two things. He loved his son and he loved his ruby ring, for he had a ring with the biggest, most beautiful ruby that anyone had ever seen. Now the king's son always wanted to play with that ring and one morning, the king let him. His son was careful, but not careful enough. And sure enough, that ring went crashing down to the floor. Everybody held their breath. And when the king picked up the ring, he saw there was a crack down the middle. He was so upset, he called on all the jewelers in the land to come help him, but nobody could. And then, an older woman stepped up, a master jeweler. And she asked the king to take the ring and she worked on it all day and she worked on it all night. And in the morning, when she gave the ring back, the king saw it and he smiled. For the jeweler had taken that crack and made it into the stem of a carving of a rose. She had taken something ugly and made it more beautiful than it ever was before. So maybe those broken tablets in the ark weren't there to make the Israelites feel badly, but to help them act better. Maybe they were there to help them see the world differently so that they could find beauty and holiness even in their mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. I know that I do. But when I think of those broken tablets in the ark, I realize that if we just got rid of our mistakes and tried to forget them, we'd probably make the same mistakes all over again. Maybe if we remember them, that'll help us to make a different choice next time around. So the next time that you make a mistake, try to see if you can turn it into something good.